Okay, kids, let's talk a little bit about the discriminant. Let's go back and let's think about um, quadratics again. A quadratic is anything in this form where a, b, and c are real numbers. What this says is a, b, and c are elements of or members of the real number system. And I've been yelling about it a few times. A cannot equal zero because if it does, then it's not a quadratic. It's a line and we shouldn't be doing any of this. Okay, so that's a quadratic. Now, we talked about parabolas, and a parabola is the graph of any quadratic on, particularly, a Cartesian plane. That's what a parabola is. Now, I want to talk about what a root is. A root is any x value that will make ax squared plus bx plus c equal 0. That's what a root is. It's anything that's going to make that equality hold true. Let's talk about an intercept. An intercept is actually short form for an x-intercept in this case. And an intercept is where the parabola, which again is the graph, on a Cartesian plane crosses or touches the x-axis. And if it's going to touch the x-axis, it's going to be anywhere along here. And notice that y must equal 0 for this. So intercepts and roots are um, related. The root is any value of x that's going to satisfy this x equals 0 any value, and those values could sometimes be complex values. It's sometimes possible that I'm going to get a complex value of x that's going to make this whole thing equal to zero. Intercepts, however, are the graphing of these roots. The graphing of these roots on a Cartesian plane. A Cartesian plane is made up of a real number line and another real number line, which means that all of the coordinate points are going to be real number coordinate pairs which means there's nowhere for a complex number to be graphed on this. So roots could be real and complex. Intercepts are the picture of those roots on a Cartesian plane, which means that we can only show pictures of the real roots. All the imaginary roots can't be shown here. So this will have less information. Okay? There's going to be some things that show up that are kind of interesting, but it definitely has a little bit less information, if you will. And that's how um, parabolas, roots, and intercepts are going to come into play. So I think I'm going to label this one parabolas, roots, and intercepts, and we'll talk about discriminant in just a minute.